Hoping this helps you change the sliding lock on your tripod head. Um, I'll show you what the issue was and how come I had to change this. I work with students so this came all the way out. They thought they were loosening something and they needed to. And this pin came all the way out. And eventually the piece inside of there fell out too. I don't know where it went. But I had to reorder all the parts to redo this sliding lock. And the description or the link to where I did that in the description. Um, I guess I should show you what I'm doing. I needed to take this sliding piece off. So I'm loosening the hex down here, Allen wrench. That needs to come out in order to allow the sliding top to come all the way off in order to work with this. So that'll come all the way off. That's pretty critical, otherwise you can't get to this. And then this piece inside of here, like I said, I was missing, it came all the way out. So I was left with having to reorder all of these parts and, um, and put it all completely back together. So then I was left with a gaping hole here. And so my issue, I it was just not doing, I could not figure out how this little piece was supposed to set in here. And I fought with it forever and I finally figured it out. So this is kind of the whole idea I realized needed maybe a tutorial. So if you can see where the angle of this is, you got two screw holes on each side, a flat, and then a one with a lip. That one with the lip needs to face out towards the screw and you'll see why. But the way I had to get this put in there was kind of to set it in and then slide it. You couldn't, I couldn't really get it to just set in and go. So it's all a matter of setting this in like so and then twisting in order to, to hit those grooves just right. Otherwise, I just I couldn't figure it out. So see if I can hold this and get that put in there. Like so, and then it'll start to slide forward. And then you can put your tightening mechanism back in, start to screw it in all the way. There we go. Why it's critical that the edge is facing that way is because that is the actual break. So that little lip will come out and serve as the brake on the uh, slider. So I'm going to loosen that back out enough so that it's pretty well flush. That way I can put this back on. So you got to make sure you line up your grooves just right all the way out here to the edge. Slide it in. Line up your hex hole. Drop it in. And that's pretty much it. You can figure out the rest from here. But now your tripod can break again, which is nice. So tighten that down. You'll feel it tighten. Can't go anywhere.